The government's primary job is to protect its people. But judging by the skyrocketing number of asylum claims coming from Mexican nationals entering our country, that doesn't seem to be a priority for the Liberals. These claims have almost quadrupled since December of 2016, when the Trudeau government lifted visa requirements under the guise of granting easier access to our friends in Mexico so they could help grow our economy from the heart out and build diverse communities. I'm very pleased to announce that on December 1st, 2016, Canada will lift the Mexican visa requirement that has restricted travel to Canada. This move will make it easier for our Mexican friends to visit Canada while growing our local economies and strengthening our communities. We also know that the number of Mexican detainees at the U.S.-Canada border has increased by almost six times since 2016 and was at 2,391 late last month, according to correspondence between the Border Services Agency and the Canadian press. Many of the reasons for getting detained aren't good ones. According to the Canada Border Services Agency, it happens when a person is suspected of being a danger to the public, may go underground, or their identity is questionable. So we know that in the very least, there are some shady people trying to get into Canada. This next article from Global News suggests while this number is small, with just 0.25% of Mexican nationals entering Canada being implicated in serious crimes, the key here is that this number has increased on Justin Trudeau's watch. Some say Vancouver is becoming a hotbed for criminal activity that includes ties between BC drug gangs and Mexican drug cartels. And asylum claims have jumped in BC. According to the claims processed by the Canada Border Services Agency and Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, those in British Columbia jumped by 570 between 2015 and 16 when these requirements were dropped and are on pace to more than double by the end of this year. There was solid reasoning behind the Conservatives enforcing visa requirements. The CPC saw right through the potential for phony refugee claims that could pose a threat to our country and the unnecessary drain on taxpayers. Analysis done by the Government of Canada shows that these new measures will cost taxpayers $433.5 million over the next decade. The Trudeau Liberals are foolish to think that this is a good idea because common sense is clearly out the window on this one. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the Rebel.media slash shows for our exciting new lineup. The best part is you can have it all at only $69.99 a year if you get in on our early bird pricing.